What's up, everybody? It's What the Gym, and here are my top five things to watch on the streaming service Apple TV Plus. What the gym? Please let me know your thoughts on Apple TV Plus in the comment section below, and what are your favourite things to watch on it. Let's quickly review the Apple TV Plus streaming service. It's got great original shows and films. And it's also got some amazing documentaries to watch. It's also easy to navigate the menu and the options. However, there isn't enough content, I feel, on Apple TV+. Plus. I've also got a couple of improvements for it. That is to add more shows, as well as add more movies. They don't necessarily have to be Apple original ones, though. I do recommend the streaming service. There's just not a ton of things to watch on it. But I'd give it 4 out of 5 stars. Now let's go through some honourable mentions on my top 5 things to watch on Apple TV+. Plus. My honourable mention is my number 11 to my number 6, as I've seen total 11 things on Apple TV+. Plus. My number 11 is The Velvet Underground from 2021, which would give a 6 out of 10. My number 10 is 1971 from 2021, which would give a 6.5 out of 10. My number 9 is Tetris from 2023, which would give a 7 out of 10. My number 8 is Greyhound from 2020, which would give a 7.5 out of 10. My number 7 is The Greatest Spear Run from 2022, which would give an 8 out of 10. And my number 6 is Ghosted from 2023, which would also rate an 8 out of 10. Now let's go through my top 5 things to watch on Apple TV+. Plus. My number 5 is Luck from 2022. This animated movie is directed by Peggy Holmes. And for the good, it's got just the right amount of humour, very good voice acting, Great world building and locations. I also found the film very unpredictable and enjoyable for the whole family. But for the bad, I thought this film was slightly too long, contains some pacing issues, and it takes a little bit to get into. But I give this movie an 8 out of 10. My number 4 is Hijack from 2023, which is directed by Jim Field Smith and Mo Alley. So for the good, I think this has got really great acting and performances, especially with Idris Elba's character. It's got great cinematography. The show is done in a very realistic way, which I like. I also find the show very intense and unpredictable. And the show makes you feel like you're there with the passengers. But for the bad, I wasn't keen on the Dubai scenes. I also thought there were too many characters in the location of London. I also think there's too much going on at times and too much to remember at times as well. I rate Hijack an 8 out of 10. My number 3 is still a Michael J. Fox movie from 2023, directed by Davis Guggenheim. Sorry if I mispronounced his surname. So for the good, I thought this was very informative, paced brilliantly, edited really well. It had an amazing story of Michael's life. It was funny and emotional when it needed to be. But for the bad, I did find this quite sad in parts. I also think the ending could have been slightly better and longer. But I'd give this documentary a 9 out of 10. I thought it was an amazing one. My second favourite thing to watch on TV Plus it's Bruce Springsteen's Letter to You from 2020, directed by Tom Simney. For the good, I think this has got amazing cinematography, fantastic music, from the underrated 2020 Letter to You album. My personal favourite is the first track, One Minute You're Here. It's also great to see how Bruce and the In Street Band created an amazing album together. I also thought this documentary was quite emotional at times. It was also well written and had an excellent score. But for the bad, the whole movie is in black and white, which I think was quite a weird direction to go with. I also think when the songs appear, it doesn't tell you what the songs are called. But I still give this documentary a 9 out of 10, and it's my favourite documentary to watch on Apple TV+. But my favourite thing to watch on Apple TV+, is a film starring Tom Hanks, and it came out in the year 2021, and that's the film Finch. The film is directed by Miguel Sapochnik, Sorry if I mispronounced his surname, but for the good, I thought the characters and the performances were excellent here. I also thought it was an emotional movie, filled with great cinematography. It had a simple but effective story, and I thought the movie was just overall very enjoyable, and it had quite a few funny moments as well. But for the bad, I think some of the writing could have been a bit better. I also think there were a few unanswered questions, and although I did really enjoy the story, it wasn't the most unique one out there. But I still think this movie is excellent. It's a very underrated Tom Hanks film, in my opinion, and I'd give it a 9 out of 10. So, my top 5 things to watch on Apple TV Plus. Please let me know your favourite things to watch on Apple TV Plus 
in the comment section below. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment. Until next time, peace out, peace and love, and ciao.